Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of the Midweek Refill with Bishop A. Reginald Littman from New Mountaintop Church. We're excited that you're here and always glad to share God's Word with you. Please do us a favor by hitting that like button, thumbs up, share, and do subscribe. Leave us a comment. It helps others to find us in the crowded algorithms. Well, this week, we're going to be sharing with you a teaching entitled, How to Read and Understand the Bible. You know, reading the Bible can be one of the biggest challenges that most of us face, particularly if you are a newer Christian. Just understanding what the Bible means can be so tough. And so this is a very simple and practical teaching in which I want to share with you some very simple keys that will help you to read and understand the Bible to a greater degree. So, if you're ready, let's jump in. And here's point number one. Choose a Bible translation. Now, the Bible is available in so many translations, so it's really going to be important for you to choose the one that's easiest for you personally to understand. And again, there are so many out there. So some of the popular options for beginners include the New International Version, or NIV. Also, the New Living Translation, NLT, both of which I highly recommend. And then, of course, there is the very popular English Standard Version, or ESV. All three of these are really good with breaking it down. Now, if you'd like even a bit more of a breakdown, check out the Amplified Bible. That also will give you a good understanding of the verses and what they mean. Here's number two. Start with the Gospels. Begin with the Gospels in order to understand the Bible as you read it a little bit better. And here's why. The Gospels actually tell the story of Jesus' life and his teachings. And in the Gospels, you see Jesus in narrative form, meaning reading the stories that show him healing or producing some type of miracle, that show his interaction with other people. And because we are people who love stories, the Gospels will help to really provide a good foundation for understanding the rest of the Bible. And here's number two. Always read the Bible in context. Now, it's really important to read each passage in its proper context because when a passage is taken out of its context, you're only left with a con. And that's an easy way to cherry pick and to make the Bible say what you want it to say is by grabbing a verse over here and grabbing another from over there. And when people do this, it's easy to be a little convincing as to what the Bible says when, in fact, it's not contextual. So context simply means understanding the historical, the cultural background of the passage, as well as how it is placed in the larger story of the Bible. So when you're understanding the background of what it is that you're reading, by keeping that verse within what's called the paragraph, it helps you to then understand the context. And here's number three, take notes as you read. Now, why is taking notes important as you read the Bible in order to understand? Well, keeping a notebook or journal can help you to remember what you've read and then to reflect on it. So what I like to do is to make notes as I read a passage. That way I know what I've covered so far. And then after I have completed that passage, reading it, making notations, I can then apply 
its message to my life because I understand what's happening, who's speaking, what's being said, and why. You want to write down any questions as you're journaling during study of the Bible. Make a note of any insights that come to mind. What are some of the observations that you noticed? What stands out to you? What seems odd? What seems a little bit more interesting than usual? That, my friends, helps you to deepen and broaden your study as you take notes and journal during your time of study and meditation of the Bible. Well, here's number four. Number four, use study tools. Now, there are a host of tools that are available for you to be able to understand the Bible better from printed books, which I'll talk about in just a second, to full libraries that are available online, all types of websites that will help you with Bible study tools are at your fingertips. And you don't have to spend a penny in order to do this. So there are Bibles, of course. There are commentaries and concordances. Commentaries are the thoughts of scholars or authors on a passage of scripture or a book of the Bible. A concordance is designed to be almost like a dictionary in which you can alphabetically look up a word and then find its locations in the scriptures. And I'll talk more about this in another episode. But in the Strong's Concordance in particular, there are numbers to the right of the verse that will show you in the back of the Strong's Concordance the Greek or Hebrew meaning of each and every word of the Bible. So it's a highly valuable tool as it relates to Bible study and really discovering how to really read and study the Bible. So you can also find online resources like Bible study websites, BibleStudyTools.com, I believe is one of them, but just simply Google that and it makes all of the hard work a lot easier for you, particularly when it comes to looking up particular words and their meanings in the Bible. And here's number four. Read regularly. Anything that you do regularly from exercise to reading will only help to strengthen your muscles. And as it relates to reading and understanding the Bible, reading it regularly, consistently, will only strengthen your mental muscles, and your spiritual muscles. So reading the Bible regularly is definitely key to building your understanding and also, more importantly, building your relationship with the Lord. Try to set aside a regular time each and every day for reading and reflection on the scriptures. Again, getting into a routine, a pattern, as you search for meaning and understanding is critical to really getting more out of your reading and study of the Bible. And number five, pray for guidance. Now, before you begin reading the Bible, ask God to give you and to reveal Feel his truth to you. Ask God to guide you as you study and read and to show you the truths that are in the scriptures. And he will do just that. Pray for understanding and wisdom as you read. And God will grant you the understanding that you need as you read and study the word of God. And number six. Join a study group. 
Joining a Bible study group can provide accountability, support, and encouragement as you learn and grow in your faith. Here's number seven. Focus on application. The Bible is not just a book to be read, but a guide to be lived out. And so when you read and study the Bible, have a perspective of how can I use this? How does this apply to my life? My personal technique is what's on the screen right now. I think of every passage in terms of how can I extract the truths from this and apply this to my life? And as I apply it to my life, As a pastor, I then feed it to the congregation that the Lord allows me to serve. So approaching Bible study, not from an aspect of, I want to know everything about this story or this passage, but rather I want to know how this passage applies to me personally and what I can gain and extract from it helps you to deepen your study and to find the proper applications for your life. And when you find proper application, it helps you to memorize what you've studied, apply what you studied, and then be able to talk about it with other people. So focus on how you can apply what you've learned to your daily life and in your personal life relationships. And here's number eight. Trust the Holy Spirit. Trust the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit actually has a role in your time of reading and study of the scriptures. And what is that role? Well, the Holy Spirit is the ultimate guide an interpreter of the Bible. The Holy Spirit helps us to hear from God and to see ourselves in the scriptures so that we might grow. So trust in his guidance and leading as you read and seek to understand God's holy word. Thanks so much for watching. If you got anything out of this teaching, please be sure to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time new content is loaded. Let me challenge you to go back and view this entire video because there's so much that you might have missed that can benefit your life spiritually. I'm Bishop A. Reginald Lippman from New Mountaintop, and you've been watching the Midweek Refill how to read and understand the Bible. Be sure to check the links in the description for resources that will help you further understand this teaching. Until next week, you go with God.